my name is Lectina Wasike Wanyonyi. I'm um, the spouse to Honorable Tim Wanyonyi, Member of Parliament for Westlands Constituency. I'm a mother, three biological children, and many, many others. Um, and uh, I'm also an employee of the Government of Kenya. I must also say I'm a pampered sister and daughter. Uh, um, I enjoy doing charity. I enjoy doing charity. What I'm really passionate about is the female of all ages, young, old, a woman, a girl. Um, I'm really passionate about, yeah, just to make life a bit better than it is for them. Uh, and so I, I will, if just a smile or an encouraging world can make something better, life better for any woman around me, I'll do that. I take time to, to talk to, to them on maybe subjects they have no idea about, to create awareness, cancer, uh, financial literacy, violence in relationships. Uh, widowhood because um, many widows think life has ended or that now their life must be controlled by society or the church. So if I can get an opportunity to just talk to them or point them in the right direction, that I really, I really enjoy. Yeah? And challenging ourselves to do better and then um, I really invest in uh, the education of the girl, not just the girl child, but any female, so that even if it's just financial literacy for somebody who's older, and that with the financial literacy they can do better in their lives, then I'll push towards that direction and support it. Why? Because uh, I'm a, I was born among girls, only girls. I'm the eighth of nine, and during that time, those days as we were growing up, um, what was a girl? Who are they? So learning from my mother and my older sisters to just that you have to be strong and that you're somebody important and that um, you have to create your space and that when, when, you, when you do your best then the rest will follow. It was the end of last year. I took a journey uh, working with some charitable institutions as I approached my 50th and I really enjoyed it. When I started, I was scared. It was COVID times. It was actually, I think for me and for many around me, we had realized this COVID is not going, it's not going away soon. And it had become depressing and difficult for many people. So while originally I'd planned to work with just one charity, I. I came across one that was not in my plan. So I, on the spur of it, said, okay, I'll do five. One for each of my 10, ten years on this earth. So we picked five of them. Uh, I was supported by my family, uh, friends, and relatives, and even strangers. And I uh, was able to, 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 to meet and surpass the targets I'd set for each charity. Really surpass them. It was, it was surprising, yeah? And one of the um, charity, two of the charities we supported, one of them actually set up an endowment fund. It's an a Kibondeni college, an endowment fund for their girls, because I think they realize how vulnerable they are with the COVID. So there's an endowment fund that was set up out of that. And there's another, um, an old people's home in Busia that was able to get beds for the elderly. Those, those are, I take pride in. Been a member of NASA the last term, just as an ordinary member, uh, but this current term I'm the chair of the NASA. Personally, the greatest challenge I'm facing this term is the fact that because membership is um, life, so we have a uh, 
members who are former and members who are current. And that has made it difficult to have any activities in constituencies because it's, it's, it's very much possible to have two members of NASA, one who's the spouse of the current sitting MP and the other who's of the former. And the truth be told, It, it brings conflict. It brings co I'm very alive to this. Uh, many may not want to voice it, but it's, it's the truth. So what my board and I did was to, to work on, maybe start by um, looking at spending time on building ourselves as individuals, so that because you cannot pour from an, an empty cup, so that we build ourselves as individuals we've been having our uh, uh, sessions to just build ourselves and then maybe that gives us each individual the the knowledge the wisdom to go out and do what they can as they support their as they support their spouse or the people around them uh, covid came in then it also became a real challenge when when you have an association or a community or a society Let's not lie to ourselves. A physical interaction is very important, very important. So the COVID issue that we cannot interact, we are from different parts of this country. Uh, people are struggling on their own in their families, around their friends with COVID and not being together has been a challenge that we are still trying to surmount. In the first term, which was not my achievement, there was a different chair. What they did was, um, what we did was to reach out to schools in terms of um, trying to encourage the young people, boy and girl, to focus on what is important, the education, to get back to our values, to do what is right, especially because there's a lot of, uh, of um, sexual abuse yeah. Even amongst themselves. So there was a campaign for that. And individual members did what they could in their constituencies and they supported each other. In this term, um, other than the trainings and the sessions we've had amongst ourselves to empower each other, there are certain individuals that have really gone out of their way to do, to do what they really can in their constituencies as they support their spouses. Uh, some have done things just within their communities uh, and I really hope that I cannot articulate them as such but I really hope that uh, we'll be able to, to get a recording of some of these things that individuals have achieved under the ban of NASA but as NASA we've participated in the Beyond Zero I made a mark there uh, we've had cohesion uh, sessions and um, We've got one or two plans we hope to achieve before the closure of the, the, the end of the term. Yes. I'll take pride in saying that we now have structures that we can talk of. That we took over an institution that was registered, yes. Uh, but there are certain things, instruments of power, as you could say, were not there. Those ones we have. We've tried to hold together, even with the COVID times, even with the diversity that now includes uh, membership that is current and former and with the different ages and through the tanga tanga and the handshake we've tried to hold together yes